Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this review is about Dr. Ambedkar Institute of Technology, Dr. AIT College, which is Bangalore. And this is one of the decent options available in Bangalore. And this college is now an autonomous institute affiliated to VTU. So that is a good news and it's approved by ASCT and Location wise, it is located on Outer Ring Road near Gyan Bharti, second stage, Nagar Bhavi, Bangalore, right? So that is the complete college address. So it's a quite old and established college. It started in 1980. So this college has already start, um, given 40 plus batches. And uh, it is, uh, as I mentioned, affiliated to you know, VTU. And currently it is uh, NAC A plus grade institute. So in the past, it has also got the NIRF ranking. So around 19 or 20, it got the 163 ranking. So, so this is overall, it's uh, approved by UGC, UGC and uh, it's a NAC A plus institution. And this college is also an aided college. So there are two courses under KCET. One is aided, which is E004, where fees is very less. And the second is non-aided or the private which is E60 and the fees little higher for this course. But both are under KCET. Now they have the third code which is E42 which is for the Comet K admission process. So I will talk about the fee structure for each of these courses later in this video. Before that what are the courses which are available. So you have uh, good options in artificial intelligence and machine learning AIBS. You have computer science and business system, CSBS course. You have information science engineering, ISC, computer science engineering, CSC. So you have got four options from the CSC or CSC specialization branches. Then you have civil, mechanical, triple E, which is electrical electronics, ECE, industrial engineering management, electronics and instrumentation, electronics and telecommunications. And the last one is the aeronautical engineering. So almost like 10 to 12 branches are there. Now directly I will talk about the fee structure. So this is not this year's fees, but this is last year's fees. But this is going to be approximately similar numbers. And this will give you idea. So let's start first with the KCET, which is KEA. So KEA has two codes, as I mentioned previously. Added course is KEA E004. And the fees is very less, which is just 40,860 per year, right? And then fees to be paid in the college is 18,000, which any, anyone has, everyone has to pay, which is the college fees. So put together 40,000 plus 18,000, 59,000 is the fees in the aided course. Now let's go to the second course, which is unaided, which is private course under KCET. So E60 and the fees for that was 96,574 and the college fees was around 12,980. Total one year fees will be 1,9,000, right? Now, apart from that, every college has the SNQ seat, right? Which is supernumerary quota. So, which is also available at a very, very low fees, right? It is for the people coming from the economically weaker background. So, you can see aided, as a, you know, course has SNQ, which is 21,000 and 20,000 as a college fee. So, total 41,000. But unaided course also has SNQ, which, which is 31,360 plus 8,980. So, Total fees is 40,000. So, so under aided and unaided, both the courses SNQ seats are there. Next one is like category 1 fees. For the salary above 2.5 lakhs, E60 is the code, right? So, that is the private uh, unaided seat, right? So, 77,074 is the fees to be paid and 32,000 is your college fees. Total put together 1,9,000. This is the total fees you have to give as a category one, but you will get the benefit of scholarship once you go to your college. From there, you will get the scholarship benefit. Now, category one, right, which is above 2.5 lakhs, which is there for E00 code, which is the aided course. In that one, the fees is very less, 21,360. College fees, 37,890. Total fees will be 59,250. 
now coming to the other another categories which is scst which is again both under aided and unaided so 750 rupees is just the fees for scst in both the categories but they have to pay the college fees of 39590 so total fees which will be payable by scst students whether they study in aided course or unaided 40340 per year next for the comedy case students right so, comedy case student per year fees is 2,57,706,19,000 was the college fees. Total comedy case students paid 2,77,296. Now, I'll talk about the management quota fees which was 3,28,962 last year. And government of India quota, this is last quota. If you are coming as a sponsorship candidate, your fees will be 61,500. So, that's all the fees I have covered. Now, management quota seats are available and uh, if you want to get that seat, then these are the contact details. You can call on the mobile or you can write to them at admissions at drait.edu.in to get your inquiries. Now, directly jumping to the placements part of it. So, the last batch, 2023 batch, 800 plus students uh, offers were there which was quite decent and the, in the given the market and in this year 2024 batch which is just going on the number of placement offers are 900 plus which is quite excellent in this bad market right and 80 plus companies have already visited for campus drives now talking about the highest salary and the highest stipend so morgan stanley was that company which offered the highest internship which was 87000 rupees per month and the placement also they have offered the highest placement of 29.48 lakhs which is approximately 30 lakhs which is quite decent in this bad market. Now I'll talk about the NIRF placement details which are available for last 3 years. So in 2021 passing batch 1000 students were there out of which 516 got placed. So placement was only 50% but the median salary was 4 lakhs. Next year the uh, same you know number of students and uh, the number of students placed were 665 literally improvement to 60 to 60 to 60 uh, 60 65 percent placement with the median salary increase to 6 lakhs in 2023 batch uh, i know approximately 680 offers were there right and the median salary 5 lakhs so median salary little bit decreased because of the um, bad market but overall offers have now become 680 to 700 so this is a decent options if you want to take the top branches here so and uh, i will should say that you should avoid extremely last branches but um, up to ece a on all csc specializations triple e all those branches you can take and this college so that's all I have to cover in this particular video and thanks for watching. Please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care and bye.